Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the avocado sandwich number two. This time it's personal. First thing we do is mash up avocado. Now we add salt and spread thickly between rye bread. I'm using this uh, seeded Jewish rye. Did they want a dark rye? Don't know. They didn't say it. They just said rye bread. So this is what I'm using. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's give this avocado sandwich number two a go. I like it. I mean, I dig it. I love avocado. An avocado mashed with salt? Yes. On rye bread, which I also love? You betcha. Do I want to plus it up? I do. I add some Mexican oregano and a smidge of chipotle powder. Okay, let's give this avocado sandwich number two plussed up with Mexican oregano and chipotle powder. A go. I was wondering if the oregano would actually work with the caraway seed, and it kind of does. And the chipotle is just bringing a nice little smoky heat. Oh, what's that? You want me to plus it up with the one thing everyone always comments on whenever I make a sandwich that has avocado? All right, let's add some diced bacon. Okay, let's give this avocado sandwich number two plussed up with Mexican oregano, chipotle powder, and a little crumbled bacon. Go. Of course that works. Bacon and avocado go together like, I don't know, peanut butter and jelly. All right, so the original avocado sandwich number two, fine. Uh, it was a nice snack sandwich. I love avocado, I love rye bread. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that I'm going to go ahead and give that a 7, believe it or not. It's not terribly complex, but it is delicious. Plus up with the Mexican oregano and the chipotle powder, it's probably about a 7.5. It's more interesting, it's more complex. Uh, and plus up with the bacon, 8, 8.5. It is delicious. Uh, I'm definitely going to finish that. I'd make this again, of course. Why not? <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.